Tonight, NASA is counting down to Wednesday's historic launch of a SpaceX rocket carrying two astronauts to the International Space Station. They'll soar from the same pad where the last shuttle was launched in 2011. Today, the astronauts headed out to the pad for a final run through for a mission that marks a new chapter in commercial space flight. CBS's Mark Strassman has more. Bob Bacon and Doug Hurley are SpaceX's inaugural crew. Both men flew on space shuttles. Both have traveled twice before to the space station. Hurley piloted Atlantis there in 2011. Roger roll, Atlantis. Final flight of the shuttle program. And you didn't know whether you'd fly again or for whom? I, I wasn't sure I wanted to fly again, to be quite honest with you. You're a NASA astronaut about to step into a SpaceX capsule. It's completely different than what you would have ever imagined yourself doing. Both astronauts joined NASA in 2000. They've been friends for two decades. I gotta believe that's a help. It absolutely right? is a help. I think we're way past the polite stage in our relationship. <laughs> I'm not looking for romance from Doug. I'm not looking for surprises in our relationship. We don't give up and uh, we like a big challenge and by gosh, we, we certainly got one. They both met their wives in the NASA astronaut class of 2000. Benkin married Megan MacArthur. Hurley married Karen Nyberg. They're great guys. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Obviously, we think so. Yeah, we hit the jackpot. <laughs> In 2009, MacArthur's robotic skills helped prolong the life of the Hubble Space Telescope. She and Benkin have a six-year-old son, Theodore. Dad's going to go and, and launch on a rocket and go to space station so that it's just kind of a normal thing for him to absorb. Nyberg, Hurley's wife, has spent 180 days in space, including two trips to the space station. Did you and your wife leave little notes for each other? <laughs> we should have. Yeah, we should have. <laughs> so apparently her hair is still up there. I get reports all the time. She's got long blonde hair, and they are still finding it. The filter's up there. On launch day, Hurley's son Jack will be watching. He drew this picture of his father's spaceship. He hasn't talked about being scared or nervous. He's talked about how proud he is of his dad. I don't want to talk about being scared or nervous either and have him pick up on that. They'd all rather focus on potential rewards for America as a spacefaring country and as astronaut dads. Mark Strassman, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center.